What's going on gamers? Today we're going to go over how to ban players from your Apex CSGO server. Before we hop into this tutorial, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can stay up to date on every tutorial we upload, just like this one. Game servers are fun for everyone to play on and build a community together. However, in some cases, players or unwanted players cause trouble and need to be removed from the server. Apex CSGO servers have a system in place to ban people like this. Every owner, admin, or everyone who's monitoring the server should be allowed to have this feature. This guide is going to take you through this process and reviewing information, banning and unbanning them, and listing information. Everyone who hops in your server is going to have a Steam ID, and this is important to know when you are banning a player. There's a command to get this information from any player, which is the status command. You can enter this by clicking on console in the top left, and then in console, simply typing status and hitting enter. The information it'll give you is the Steam IDs of active players along with their IPs. This Steam part is an entire Steam ID for a user. The last part of the active section is the player's IP address. Make sure that you're only using the actual numerical address without the port at the end. Ports are the numbers after the colon, so that'll be that last part right there. And once you have all the player's information, it's time to use the commands to get them banned. Now, if you suspect that this user is using multiple Steam accounts, you can just go ahead and forego banning their Steam ID and just copy their entire IP. And then in the console text box, you would type in B-A-N IP and then paste in their information or their IP without the port. And remember to type in the amount of time that you'd like them to be banned. Let's say for 10 minutes and then their IP. Now just hit send or hit enter and it should ban them from your server. If you want to unban them, however, then all you need to do is in the console, type in remove IP and then paste in their IP without their port and then you hit enter. Now this should unban them from your server. If you'd like to ban a player from their Steam ID, you're also going to need to head to the console. In the console, what you're going to need to do is copy that Steam ID and then type in ban IP and then the number of minutes, so something like 10, and then paste in their Steam ID. This will restrict a player's connection for 10 minutes and they're not going to be able to connect to your server. When you hit enter, that's going to execute in console. And if they're logged into the server when you do this, it'll show them getting dropped as well. If you want to unban a player, you are going to want to start off in the console as well. Go ahead and execute the status command so that you could get all of this information from your server's players. In the text box, go ahead and type in remove ID and then paste in the Steam ID and hit enter. This will unban the specific player from the server. Banning anyone from the server is a beautiful feature, but viewing all of the banned players is a good one too. There's two commands for list to view that information. If you'd like to view a banned user, all you're going to need to do is hop into your console and in the text box, go ahead and enter the list ID and then hit enter. That is just going to return a message with the list of all of their banned players. 
it'll also show you the history of recently removed or recently banned players. And it might even tell you how long they're banned for or how long they have been banned for. In conclusion, a server owner needs to remove problematic users in game that disrupt their community or gameplay in almost every instance. For instance, players in game could cheat or abuse the voice chat system. Securing your server is essential to keeping it safe for your server patrons. This guide is detailed in how to properly ensure your Apex hosting server is safe from unwanted players. Well, folks, that's all we've got for you today. And as always, we hope you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.